I am free to make a difference in everybody's life on a daily basis, not just on the days that I feel like trying to make people's lives better. I am free and liberated to take the challenge of being the only woman to ever coach an NBA team. I am not afraid of that challenge. I welcome that challenge. We have people that have set the tone of greatness, financial greatness, travel greatness. I want to be a part of all of that. And the only one who can stop me is me. It's, it's your mentality. It's respecting everybody. It's fearing nobody. It's knowing that you can be as good as you want to be no matter what you do. Point guard is an extension of the coach. It, you make people around you better. You set them up for success. You make decisions. You have good work ethic. You're willing to show people how to lead. Not just telling them, but showing them. You have a mindset of who you are, what you are, what your beliefs are, what you can give, and that's life. That's called a legacy. Each and every day, you have a chance to be different. But just knowing the pressures that I'm going to be faced and the spotlight that I'm going to be in, having to guide, lead, build character, teach, teach and tutor, change people's comfortability and their behaviors, but I'm excited about that. I don't know what my limits are. I have no clue what my limits are, but I can tell you this right now in Chicago, and I've had a chance to think about it over the last 48 hours. I'm not afraid to find out what my limits are. I look back like on my basketball career. It's been about execution, it's been about dedication. It's been about accepting challenges. And it's been about working with other people. Your customers will respond to you. And the people that you work with will respond to you if you treat people the way you want to be treated. It's a simple concept. But if you're warm, if you're engaging, don't you want to do business with people you like? You have to have a plan for success. It's, it's most important that you do that. Because if you can su succeed in times like this, just imagine what it's going to be like when things are flowing and going the way you had hoped and anticipated. I was telling uh, uh, Claire before I came out here on stage, I'm writing this book. It's called A Playbook for Success. Guys, understand this. Guys, when you make a team, the coaches hand you a playbook. When you get cut, if you're a football player or a basketball player and they knock on your door and the guy goes, uh, Billy, coach wants to see you, and bring your, better give back the Bible. That is the success. It is your Bible for the success or how you're going to be successful with your company. It gives you the rules, the regulations, procedures, phone numbers, contacts, what time you got to be at practice, the plays the defenses, the philosophy of how we're going to be great.